Hello everyone. Hello and welcome back to shooting the sheet with the Smith <sighs> water edition. The water edition. The well news edition. Making the unpopular decision edition. <laughs> Here in just a minute I'm going to spin you guys around and show you the area that is blocked out on the thumbnail. And I want you to know right now, from the very beginning, this is not what you thought it was. And there's going to be a story behind it. And there's reasoning. But I wanted, I wanted, before I do all that, I want to tell you a story. It's a story about calling somebody first of all let me say right now that i have no ill feelings towards anybody uh i and i definitely am not uh intending to sound like i am uh disrespecting or or talking bad or down towards anybody whatsoever because it's not like that i just want to tell a story about a family <clears throat> there's a family that lives in arkansas completely off-grid wanting to buy wanting to pay for services to come out and drill a well so this family in arkansas sells their property in florida makes enough money to drill this hole but not actually pay for the whole entire setup like not for the company to come out and drill it and put a pump on it and get it ready to go and like pump water boom because that would cost about $8,000, $7,000, which is just a hair out of our budget. However, for the price of around thirty-five dollars to $4,500, you can come out and dig me a well, and, uh, and I agree to that price and say, you know what, I appreciate that. I just need you to dig me the hole and I have friends who know how to install a pump and that we can get water going and all that. Cool. So, they're next on the list. After a few weeks go by of no contact whatsoever, that family calls back and says, Hey, want to check in with you, make sure everything's all right. Yeah, some things are running behind, this and that. You're up next. We got a well coming for you up next. I got to go here and do this. No problem. Cool. So he goes and does this. Mm -hmm. Whatever. That's the cost of doing business. Obviously, I cannot rush anybody, nor do I want to rush anyone to do their business. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this business turned out to be almost a month, <laughs> a month, like three weeks longer than anticipated but that's okay you know what can you do but wait what can you do but wait try to put on a smile and wait so the time is building up it's building up it is time to get this well and that family is excited we're getting the well and then we get a phone oh and before we get the well we call upon some friends of ours and we cut all these trees down and we make this road with all these logs. And man, I, we spend $900 on rock so the well truck can get on the property. But we are grateful that, I am grateful that our focus the focus was put on the wood. Yes, the, the, the road needed run, to be done. The road needed to be done. So, next up on the list, so you get a phone call, right? You get a phone call and it says, how's the road looking? Road's looking good, ready to go. I do, he said, how's the yard looking? I do got some mud puddles in the yard, but they'll probably be there for a month. They don't go away. They just, they, they, they don't soak in the ground. Okay, no problem. I really like to wait on the mud to dry a little bit. Just let the mud dry a little bit. I'll be right over Cool, cool, we're getting a well. We're getting a well. We're getting a well. Hey, guess what? Our friends Jen and Wiley got a well. Woohoo! 
yes, congratulations, Jen and Wiley over at Our Mountain Home. I'm so thankful that you guys have a will. But boy, I didn't know we was gonna get skipped like Uno. <laughs> Bow! Put the big fat skip card on you. That's okay. But it was about time that they got a well. Hey, and you know they, what? They deserve that well. They did. They've been waiting for since last year for that well. Yeah. So. So. <laughs> cool. No problem. Then I get a phone call. Obviously, the family in Arkansas is us that I'm telling the story about. So I get a phone call and says, hey, listen. I'm coming to you right yep. now. I'm sorry for interrupting. I'll be right back. I have to put one thing up. Okay. She's nipping at my feet. Got a phone call and said, listen. <laughs> I got a family in need of a well right now. It's a, young, it's a young family. Their well is completely out. They need a whole new well dug. I need to go out there and drill them a new well. They don't know how to live without water. I know you got water right now coming from the creek. Would you mind me digging a them, their well for them? I would be appreciative for it. I said, you know what? I've already waited so long. And now a situation like that occurs. I mean, I would be almost inhuman to say, of course, obviously, go do the well, right? So, you know, naturally, we say, yeah, definitely, go do the well. So I get a phone call yesterday. Yesterday was well day. It is time to dig this hole get a phone call about i don't know i'm recording from the camera but if i had to guess approximately i would say 9 30 ish a.m hey mr smith I'm, I'm i'm gonna be headed your way i just got a few things to do this morning and i am headed your way loaded up it's well time so we totally shifted focus got ready for the day, put the things we were gonna do on the back burner, sponsorship videos, things that are time focused, put it all on the back burner, and we already went ahead and started filming for the well. So the well video is getting filmed. We're talking about placement, where it's gonna be where the well is supposed to be, all this, and we're waiting, and we're waiting, and we're waiting, and we're waiting, and hours are going by, so, you know, I say about two o'clock, make a phone call, straight to voicemail. Well, not, it rings for a second. This call has been forwarded. This call has been forwarded. Dang, no service. Trying to get a hold, trying to get a hold. And then I hear from my friends, Jen and Wiley. Jen and Wiley did get some water, but they have very, very low pressure. And they said, you know, we wish we would have been able to do more, but it would have cost more money. And... You know, that's not what, it was out of our budget, but we're thankful to have a little bit we have, you know, and that's good. I'm so happy they got a well. And this was done, you know, by said company. And then I got to thinking about Mama V. Mama V over at Possum Run Homestead, she had her well dug, same company. And she missed her whole first well, had to whole dig another one. So much money. Mama V thankfully has water. Mm -hmm. So much money. She w way over our budget. Mm -hmm. And then we got Uncle David with Kamal Homesteading. Did you guys know that Uncle David does have water and the well water is running every time? Tap on, boom, it'll run. But did you know his well pressure and the water pressure is not good enough to run the sprinkler full time in the summer to be able to water his grass? It just shuts down. No more pressure. <laughs> our friends over at the 41.36, Anthony and Roxanne with Country Road Cure, Mel and Gary with Simple Life Reclaimed, they both been trying to get a water purification system sand filter over there for months and months and months since last year. All these flags, all these flags, all these flags, putting us on the back burner, putting us on the back burner, not contacting, not contacting. I was scared to sink our nest egg that we have for this into something and make a strike or not have much water pressure. I think when, <laughs> you know what? Let's go ahead and show you what we got. And I wanna go ahead and say right now that we never did say 
what was there in that spot. Because we did not get a well dug. We chose not to let the company dig. And it was going to be right here. That's where it was going to be. I was too nervous and did not like the way things were working out with said transaction. Every single person I know that has had transactions has had either not meet standard or didn't make what they thought they would make or something is amiss or there is some kind of flag. Man, reading the writing on the wall sometimes and making a decision that is unpopular sometimes is a very hard decision. Mm -hmm. Guys, this does not mean that we're not going to get a well. We're just not going with this company. Right. And when... When we do decide to have our well dug, I want to go ahead and just have enough. I want to have a, I want to have at least, you know, $10,000 to say, you know what? It's okay if you strike out, go ahead and dig another one. We got it, you know, and we can do that. But I cannot invest. And, and this was not my decision by no means. This was not Lissa's decision by no means. We spoke as husband and wife, not as YouTubers or anything else, as humans and husband and wife. And we thought about it, and I tried to call repeatedly before he got there so he didn't have to drive all the way here. Yeah. Um, but he either had no service for four and a half, five and a half hours, or I just got sent a voicemail every time. Um, you know, we can either take this $4,000 and put it into something that could maybe work, or we can take that same $4,000 and go ahead and purchase a big boy water storage tank for, for rain catchment. Go ahead and buy the metal. Go ahead and buy the lumber. We got these thousands of dollars. Let's go ahead. Rain water catchment system. Here we come. And, you know, that was always been a plan of ours is to do rain water yep. catchment. So regardless if we have the well or not, the, the plan was always to have the rain water catchment, guys. Okay, so that out there too you know and i want to go ahead and say thank you so much for you awesome people who respect our decision and can understand that this is our decision to make and that i don't want you to feel like i led you on to believe there was a well there but i told you this would shock you so yeah it's shocking to some i know but i don't want to do the way I, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to go with how you feel on your principles. You know what I'm saying? Your morals and values. What what do you value more? A cheaper rate? Or when you do business with somebody, they make you feel important, make you feel good, make you feel assured, stays in contact with you the whole time, and get the job done. Once again, I am in no way, shape, or form saying anything negative about anybody. All I'm saying is we have decided not to uh, use services with said company. Right. That is that. That's that. We're saying this. Let's show you what we plan to do to be able to use water. Because the creek does run from, I would say, November, December, January, February, March, April. Six months out of the year, we do have creek water. We've been using creek water for months and months and months and months. We know we can do it. What we're trying to do is supplement the dry months when we're not getting so much rain. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and show you. It's time to show you the plan. Now I gotta adjust the stand. Give me one second, guys. Whoop. I know it's gonna shake a little. Whoop. There we go. All right, you ready? All right. Got the solar, got the vitamin solar panels rolling. Got some of the EcoFlow solar panels rolling. Look, it is gonna rain in a little while, but right now, 
We got nice blue skies. Everything is looking nice. Bam. Here we go. See this area right here? This area right here is what it's going to be. Rainwater catchment system right here beside the house. It's also going to serve as a double carport for Lissa and I to be able to pull up under here. This house is 30 foot long, so this rainwater catchment system and carport will be 30 foot long. And I'm thinking about going 30 foot wide. So it'll go all the way out here 30 foot, which is approximately right here. And so we're gonna go up. I'm, I you might go up to the second beam right there or we might just go under that first piece right there. But it will slant down in this diagonal area and stop right here. And that'll be 900 square foot. So I don't know the ratio exactly off the top of my head, but that'll be 900 square foot to start. I think that's gonna be a nice little catchment. Um, I think we're gonna go ahead and start off by purchasing either a thousand gallon barrel or uh, maybe even a 1500 gallon barrel. Not exactly sure exa what we're gonna do. We may even start off with like just six of the 275s and stack them two by two by two. That's two, four, six, eight, 12, 13. That's like 1350, almost 1400 gallons of water. And we're gonna be I think we typically use about 500 gallons a month. Yeah. So we can get almost three months on one tank. So three months with no rain? I don't think so. Maybe. Maybe not. Worst comes to worst, we can always get water somewhere. We can always go and refill water if it's absolutely necessary. And when worst comes to worst, we can always pump out of the creek. Whatever needs to happen, it's going to happen. Like we said earlier, we do still plan on having a well drilled yeah. it'll just be with a different company at a different time yeah time to shift some focus time to put it in <sighs> i do want to say thank you again for everybody who is being supportive at this moment i know there will be lots of people with a different opinion and that is okay i want you to know it is okay to have a different opinion we still love you we do still care about your opinion we respect it Me just be kind in doing so, please. Remember, guys, everybody's dream is different. What we're dreaming of may not be the same as what you're dreaming of. Or what you would do. There's always different. You know what my favorite thing about humans are? And there's not really that many things that I really, really love about humans. But one thing that I love about humans more than any other species on the planet, more than any other creature on the planet, every single human is different. Every single human feels a different emotion. Everyone on the planet feels differently about one single subject. And because all of you are different, I respect all of your opinions, and we still love all of you guys. Okay. We'll catch you on the next one. Keep a lookout for the... Big news we got coming up after this. It's hammer time. We love you guys. <laughs> Can't touch <laughs> it. <laughs> Keep on living your dreams. Keep on chasing them. We're chasing ours. Remember, if you can dream it, you can drift it. Bye, guys. Bye. Hmm? Rainwater catchment. Ooh. Get that rainwater. <laughs> Can't touch this.